Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today we're doing another 2019 NFL Draft Class video where I have about 21, 22 draft picks. We're going to make a team, sim the season, see how far we can go, hopefully to the Super Bowl and win it. But we're using the draft class made by Bed Bath and Rainbow. I'll put that on the screen right here. But let's start out. We have pick one. We don't have number two. This is the best I could do. But I think other than that, we'll check real quick. We have number one, don't have two. Let's see. We have four, five, six. Uh, yeah, a lot of picks after that. So what I think we're going to do, the Broncos are probably going to take an offensive lineman. They might take Dwayne Haskins. So I'm going to start out with Nick Bosa. I mostly do these videos to find the best draft class that we can find. 81 overall, superstar development. I am doing this post-combine. That's why I waited a few weeks before doing another one of these. 82 power move, 86 finesse, 79 speed, 82 acceleration, 81 overall. Not bad. Let's see what the Broncos do. They might go Greedy Williams. No, Devin White, middle linebacker. All right, not worried about that at all. So we can just start getting guys right off the board. Quinn Williams, I think he might be a top five draft pick. 82 overall, superstar development. That's good to see. 90 strength, 81 block shed, 83 power move, 81 finesse. I never get Greedy Williams in any of these draft videos I do. So I'm happy that we're actually going to get him today. We're going to go with Josh Allen. The big question is, do we go with Kyler Murray or do we go with Dwayne Haskins? 79 overall, star development, Kentucky. 83 tackle, 92 hit power, 85 speed, 83 acceleration. There are some rumors coming out right now that he, uh, Kyler Murray interviewed terribly and he's like a bad leader in all this. I kind of want to go with Dwayne Haskins, but he's a 7-2 combine grade. He didn't even... Yeah, okay, sure. I don't I don't know if I should take him or not, though. We're going to get Juwan Taylor. I need the offensive line help, obviously. 79 overall, quick development. 88 strength, 86 run block, 85 pass block. That's great. It just said down below that Chargers won and Josh Gordon real bad. Montez Sweat. I want to get DK Metcalf just because he ran a crazy 40-yard. Even though I heard his, I think it was his three cone, maybe his 20-yard. Something was really bad, which means he run really bad routes. 78 overall, star development, 95 speed, 90 acceleration, 80 catching, 88 catching traffic. I've been listening to a lot of pro football focus where they're saying he ran a worse, like, I think it was three cone, but it might have been 20. I'm not exactly sure, but he ran worse than Tom Brady did back in 2000 or 99, whenever that was. Let's make sure we get Greedy Williams on the team. Third in the 40 yard, 82 overall, superstar development. He has 94 speed, 85 man, 77 zone, 68 play rec. Not really sure you determine the play rec, but okay. Now, who is after us? It said the Colts and then the Panthers. They're not going to take a quarterback, I don't think. The Colts, yeah, neither of them would. That doesn't make sense. They might go with like a Byron Murphy or an Ed Oliver, maybe Sweat. So what do we have for picks? We took Bosa. I, we might as well. Do we go Rashawn Gary? I'm not really convinced about him. I think we're going to go Montez Sweat. Even I'm hearing a lot of bad things about him as well. 81 overall, quick development. He has 70 power moves, 79 finesse, 93 speed, 89 acceleration. Let's see who the Colts and the Panthers take. Byron Murphy, I knew it. Jonathan Abram. All right. So we can definitely get our quarterbacks. We are in pick number 11 right now. What do we have? 11 through 21. Interesting. So we'll just start rattling these off. Let's get Ed Oliver. First in the 40 yard. 80 overall superstar development. 86 strength, 82 block shed, 75 power move, 86 finesse. I'm wondering where he's going to play. Some people said he put on a lot of weight for the combine to make sure he plays on the defensive line. But if he was weighing a little bit less, he would have played a linebacker potentially. Now, I want to make sure we get Noah. I, I heard it's Noah Fant, not Noah Font. So that's good to see. Also, TJ Hawkinson. Dexter Lawrence is down here. Cody Ford. Let's go. DeAndre Baker, obviously, fill up that cornerback position. 80 overall, quick development. 89 speed, 84 man, 80 zone, 80 play rec. See, I, I don't know how you determine that. If you guys know, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Now, where do we go from here? We took a left tackle, so let's go to the right tackle. Jonah Williams. 77 overall, quick development. He has 86 strength, 82 run block, 85 pass block. I'm still not... I don't know if I go Kyler Murray. I think Kyler Murray makes the most sense. There's a lot of rumors he's going to be the number one overall pick. And the Cardinals are going to trade away Josh Rosen. Or potentially, potentially the Raiders might trade up to get into that position. We're going to go with TJ Hawkinson. I'm hearing he's a little bit better than Noah Fant. 78 overall star development. Look at that hair. 82 speed, 82 catching. He has 84 acceleration, 82 catch of traffic, 77 short route. We probably will go with the double tight ends because they're probably going to both go in the first round. AJ Brown's down here. 
We need a right guard. Let's go with Cody Ford. Even though that's not a great combine. 77 overall. Quick development. He has 87 strength. 81 run block. 79 pass block. The Giants are going to be up soon. So we're going to have to take our quarterback. And I think... Let's just go with Kyler Murray. I mean, we could take both of them if we wanted to. 76 overall. Quick development. He has 91 throw power. 83 deep accuracy. 80 medium. 86 short. I, I still don't know if he's going to be a great quarterback. There's also some rumors I saw today that he was a little bit taller somehow at the Combine. But on his pro day, he's going to like try to avoid being like measured and stuff. It's just... It's very strange. I'm listening to a lot of stuff lately. We need a left guard. We need safeties. Akeem Butler's there. Zach Allen, I've heard a lot of good things about. Same with Simmons. Polite also. Josh Jacobs, there's a running back we need. Let's take him right now. He's a 74 overall. Only normal development. 77 break tackle, 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 89 agility. I mean, the Giants have to take Dwayne Haskins, right? It's the only thing that makes sense. What else are we missing? I might as well go with A.J. Brown. Let's take him. He's a 78 overall, quick development. He has 90 speed, 87 acceleration, 85 catching, 85 catch of traffic. He looks like he'll be a great player. All right, let's see. The Giants have to take him, right? No, they took Devin Bush. Why? I don't really get it. I mean, we need linebackers, obviously. Do we go with Nasir Adderley? What do we have, actually, for defense? We need a left outside linebacker, a middle linebacker. What do we need for offensive linemen? A guard and a center. Mac Wilson is down here. Let's get Mac Wilson right now. He's a 75 overall normal development. He has 79 speed, 79 tackles, 78 block shed, and 75 hit power. Not all that great for a middle linebacker, in my opinion. So the Raiders and the Seahawks are after this. One of them is going to take Gary, probably the Raiders. What do the Seahawks need? Maybe Dexter Lawrence? We're good on defensive line, right? Yeah. We need a free safety, strong safety, left outside linebacker. We could take Polite, move him over. I think that's what we're going to do. He's a 77 overall, normal development. He has 82 tackle, 94 hit power, 77 speed, 83 acceleration. Let's see what the Raiders are going to do. Brian Burns, another guy I've heard a lot about after the combine. And then Akeem Butler. I can't believe Dwayne Haskins hasn't got taken. Gary hasn't got taken. We need to find centers and guards. Might as well just go right there. Elton Jenkins? I mean, maybe. Yeah, let's go with Jenkins. Why not? Second in the bench press. He's a 75 overall normal development. He has 85 strength, 82 run block, 79 pass block. I am wondering what I'm going to do after the draft. I'm going to have to figure that out for videos on Thursdays. Because generally Thursdays when I like to do the rebuild for the 2019 draft class. That will go on for a while, so I don't really have to worry about that. Let's go with Nasir Adderley. He's a 74 overall normal development. He has 89 speed, 74 zone, 79 tackle, 76 pursuit. I'm just not sure. What I'm going to upload that day. Who are the Steelers going to take? Jamal Dean. Is it bad to say? I've never heard of him before. We need a left guard. We need a strong safety. Correct. Yes. Let's go strong safety. I mean, Gardner Johnson. I've heard, I have heard some good things about him. 76 overall. No development. He has 90 speed. 77 zone. 75 tackles. 79 pursuit. You guys should let me know. Do you like this draft class? Obviously, we're not done yet. We will find out a little bit more once we sim the season and all that. How many more picks do we have? We have basically the rest of the draft. Four more picks. What else do we need? We need a left guard. We need another cornerback, arguably. Do we go Diggs? Yeah, let's go with Diggs. He's a 78 overall. Quick development. 89 speed. 81 man. 78 zone. 72 play rack. I want to make sure we get another tight end. I don't know if I want to go Irv Smith or Font. I'm really not sure. Let's go left guard real quick. Michael Dieter. 71 overall, normal development. 76 strength, 80 run block, 77 pass block. Two more picks. And I think we're good to go, right? We have our safeties, our cornerbacks, our linebackers. Yeah, the defense obviously is set. Okay, so we need another receiver. Marquise Brown's probably here, right? He is. And Harry. I don't know which one I want more. Probably Harry. Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe the deep threat, Marquise Brown. Isn't that Antonio Brown's cousin or something like that? Yeah, let's go with Marquise Brown. 76 overall, normal development. We could take two of them, actually. 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 80 catching, 80 catching traffic. Maybe we do go with Harry as well. I mean, we don't need another tight end, really. We could use one. Don't get me wrong. I can't believe Gary's still there. Earth Smith's there, too. Let's go with Nikhil Harry. See what he's all about. 
75 overall normal development he has 88 speed 86 acceleration 82 catching 82 catch in traffic Rashawn Gary is a 78 overall quick development I do want to look at a few players before we start simming 85 power move 84 finesse 86 speed 84 acceleration now weird oh there's Simmons okay I want to look at him as well 76 overall only a normal development 92 strength 73 block shed 70 power move 75 finesse now where is Haskins I actually want to look at Allen as well 73 overall normal development that's not all that great Farrell way down the list 75 overall quick development Daniel Jones before Haskins oh that's not Daniel Jones okay okay Raekwon Davis is he even in the draft anymore I don't think he is why is he in this where oh where is Dwayne Haskins did I go buy him no he's way down here in the third round absolutely not 77 overall quick development all right and who else did I see oh yeah Campbell I wanted to look at 76 overall normal development and Will Greer to the Saints 78 overall normal development so after drafting our team we have a 69 overall team which doesn't really make sense 75 offense 75 defense we have an 83 percent scheme fit on offense a 90 percent scheme fit on defense so let's go to the playoffs well we didn't end up making the playoffs how did we do we went four and twelve how does that happen this draft class must be really really bad kyler murray about 3800 yards 27 touchdowns 14 interceptions rushings josh jacobs 800 yards four touchdowns receiving DK Metcalf, almost 1,000 yards, four touchdowns. TJ Hawkinson, 700 yards, six touchdowns. AJ Brown, 590 for three. Josh Jacobs, 600 yards, three touchdowns. Harry, 633, seven touchdowns. What do we have for defense? 124 tackles for Mac Wilson, 100 for DeAndre Baker. Any big amount of sacks? 11 for Quinton Williams, eight for Bosa, five for Polite, four for Allen, three and a half for Sweat, three and a half for Oliver, two and a half for Harris. That's the guy I drafted. Interceptions, two for Allen, two for Harris, two for Jackson, one for Gardner Johnson, and one for Baker. Where's uh, Greedy Williams? Didn't get a single one. How does that even happen? Safety count, nothing. Defensive touchdowns, nothing. Now, obviously, we have to win one of the uh, Rookie of the Years. Todd Gurley, the MVP. Any Patriots? No, we're not going to be under Coach of the Year. Offensive Player of the Year? I doubt it. Defensive Player of the Year? Maybe Mac Wilson? No. Offensive Rookie of the Year? Kyler Murray? Jacobs is there, DK Metcalf, Hawkinson, Harry. A lot of players that aren't on my team. I, I don't even know who this is, to be honest. David Montgomery I know all about. Defensive rookie of the year. Devin White and Pratt beat out Wilson, Allen, Williams, Baker. Polite's down here. Nick Bosa, number 10. Not very realistic. But that is going to be it for this video. This was not a great draft class, to be honest. I don't know if maybe the overalls just weren't high enough. Maybe they didn't get enough XP because I have XP sliders on, all that. I mean, there's not really anything here. Metcalf has four. What about Marquise Brown? Doesn't have a single one. Harry has one. Hawkinson with two. I mean, Nick Bosa probably has a lot. Yeah, Bosa with five. Oliver with four. Williams with 13. Wow. Williams has seven. Didn't get a single interception, though. That doesn't make sense. Diggs with two. I guess the defensive players, which I guess you have to assume with, like, this draft is kind of defense heavy, so it makes sense they have a ton of XP. But if you like the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.